please ignore my hair right now. <laughs> I've um, had a shower, wash my hair, and I thought we could film a little uh, curly natural hair video. Um, but firstly, I just want to say, oh my gosh, thank you so much for everybody that joined on Friday night. You could probably tell at the beginning of the video, I was very nervous. <laughs> All my friends were like, you can tell you relaxed, like once you got a little bit more into it. But yeah, I was super, super nervous. Don't know why. But you all made me feel so comfortable and I enjoyed it so much. It made me so happy to see all of us talking together, all of you talking to each other as well. Um, so yeah, if you guys are up for it, let me know in the comments. But Friday at 6 we can do another live, like maybe a get to know each other. So I could do the get to know me tag and you guys answer along with me so we can kind of all chat does that sound like a good idea let me know in the comments because yeah it was so much fun i really really enjoyed it and i just want to say thank you so incredibly much because i was really really touched by it and it was just so much fun so yeah if you didn't watch it then i did save it so it is i'll link it below well so the first thing i'm going to do is a brush through my hair with my great lengths brush it's super important when you've got extensions like mine with the bonds, you need to thoroughly brush from the root just to get out any like dead hair so it doesn't clump, which sounds gross. <laughs> right now this definitely is just a little bit of a trial hairstyle because I haven't done this, especially with these extensions. I haven't like scrunched my hair in years. So <laughs> bear with me here. Um, I washed my hair, well first of all I left the Philip Kingsley elasticizer in. I left that in for about an hour this morning. It's just the best treatment for me. I love it so I put it all through the ends, kind of tied it up in a bun, left it for an hour and then washed it out with the Fekai shampoo and conditioner. This is so good, I love it. So this is the volume one. Such a good shampoo and conditioner, like the way it lathers up, it's a very natural scent, but the way it lathers up is amazing. It's also got no silicones, no sulfate, parabens, so really good if you have got extensions. And yeah, just, I, I love this. The only thing I wish is that they come in bigger bottles. <laughs> pop on some heat defense this one is from moroccan oil it's quite a cool one because it's like a, a spray rather than like most heat serums are more like a serum um or a cream so i really like this spray one spray it all over it also smells unreal pop in a little bit of mousse i know this is very old school so i'm just going to put a tiny little bit in because i'm not sure how this is <laughs> this is going to go but this is the charles worthington one which is great for adding fullness i'm going to run it through the lengths all right then we're going to add some of the percy and reed wonder oil this is really really good stuff this is basically like a treatment and an oil all in one um and it is really good for just sealing down your hair because as much as I want curl I really don't want frizz so this will get to work on just really smoothing the hair down right now my hair has kind of been out of the shower for about 20 minutes so it's not wet wet I have like towel dried it so I'm just gonna start scrunching with my hands to try and kind of manipulate my hair to want to go curly before I start to um, dry it. If you have got extensions, they do tend to actually naturally curl like this quite easily. Obviously, if you are working with hair that is naturally straight, you will need a kind of curl defining cream or a cream specifically designed to help you get those curls in. But I have naturally got quite wavy hair. I had ringlets when I was younger. When I was in school, my hair was so curly. Um, so yeah, I've definitely still got some of the curl left in my hair. I mean, already that is looking pretty good. Wish it stayed like this. Right now, just to smooth down top section, because I don't want frizzy hair at the top, I'm gonna first of all take a smaller nozzle for my Dyson. We are just gonna kind of dry the top section here. Switch the attachment and apply my diffuser. I've never tried this before, so I'm very excited to give it a go. Then I'm just gonna use this to scrunch 
These that sit in the diffuser manipulate them beach pearls. It's looking a little bit frizzy. <laughs> See, I've just done this for like two seconds and you can see, so that's the difference. I haven't diffused this side yet really. It's this side that I've been working on. You can see the difference in the width of it. It does help to kind of lift your hair and just give it volume. So, so far so good. Okay, I feel like it does look quite frizzy. <laughs> so let's try and maintain that, but I think Bottom half looks pretty banging. I'm gonna go in with the We Are Paradox Sea Salt Spray. Love sea salt spray for creating like a beachy look. Sea salt spray just helps you get that real natural like kind of beachy look. And also it's helped to then maintain that frizz a little bit as well. I actually think a little side part is probably gonna look better than a middle part, but let's see. Yeah, 100% that's sitting better as a little side part. And then what I'm gonna do is go back in with the Percy and Reed oil. I mean, I can't decide whether I love this one more or Moroccan oil. I think I love them both the same. Just take any of that frizz away. This is honestly how I used to have my hair through all of school. The natural curly hair is back. <laughs> Bigger than ever. Girls, I'm impressed with this. What do, what do we think? For like heat free in terms of curling irons and straighteners and wands, this is literally just with the diffuser. I'm kind of loving it. Let me know if you guys bring out the diffuser again and tag me your photos if you go for natural beachy waves. But yeah, I think these products work really well. It's definitely so important to have lots and lots of serum and then obviously if you want to hairspray it into place if you think it's going to drop i'm pretty sure that this is going to stay for me so i'm going to leave it so that it doesn't feel crispy like this still feels like really natural hair you can't really feel much product in there um but i think the mousse definitely does help to kind of reignite them curls um so yeah i'm kind of loving it let me know what you guys think in the comments below again thank you so much for tuning in to friday's live it was so much fun let me know if you want to do it again this week and i will see you beauties tomorrow bye